but we're just gonna go ahead and continue i'm gonna show you guys what i did so far basically i took the what do you call it out uh what is it called the lug nuts out okay and the next thing i'm gonna be doing is taking the rotors out and there's two bolts right here there's one up here and there's one down there once it comes out the caliper is gonna come right out and i gotta take these pins out there's a pin right there and there's a second one right below here and then take the bolt that holds this out pop the clips out take the uh, pads and everything out and then we'll be good to go so let's go ahead and do that one thing i realized about the sti is that the o2 sensor is literally right there so this is really easy to work on this is the secondary o2 sensor it's right there literally literally right here so i love that i love that about it but i realized that there's three o2 sensors on this car there's one here there's one up top and then there's one on the bottom so yeah anyways sweet let's keep working so the next thing I'm gonna do is just take the bolt out, and it's a 19. So I'm gonna go in there. It's not gonna be easy. So, ah, all right, that was not tight. So it wasn't that tight, but I guess let's find out what the second one is. See how tight it is. All right, the second one's not that tight either. So we have to look up what the torque specs is to put the stuff back together. So. Before I go ahead and take the whole thing out, I'm gonna punch these things out, you know, and then get the middle out, get the, the pads and everything out. Let's go. So it's out, but it's not all the way out. So I have to probably keep punching it through. So I'm gonna try and see if I can pull it from behind. And I cannot, so I'm just gonna try the bottom now. See if I can get that I want that one out. Boom. So it came out on itself, you know, the bracket. I am not even sure how the bracket goes on now. That was stupid of me, <laughs> taking it out without looking. So this is the bracket, you know, and then this goes in either this way or this way, and then it holds the bracket in place. So I would assume it goes in this way, you know, cause there's tension here. So uh, let's use this to take the rest of the other one out. All right, it came right out. So these two things and that, and this should pop out after we take this bottom one out. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so what currently I'm doing is I'm taking the middle piece bolt out. So it's gonna keep out. It's pretty cold, so try and get this done quick as possible. Then 13 mil is what was in there so boom 13 millimeter that's out all oh, the bracket is out now what we're going to do is we're going to move the rotors out of the way after taking those bolts so there are two bolts in the back and you guys can see i just took them out uh two different bolts there are 19 mil you know and they came right out just wrenching them out so now rotors should come out real fairly easy holding it oh the piston is holding so i probably have to go in there pry it in and then get it out so guys what i had to do today was go to advanced auto and pick up this what is this power built heavy duty steering wheel puller so i went in there picked up this and i used this because i don't have this i used this bolt then to pull it out because there's a hole for you to you know i mean thread this in there and then pop it out and then go pop and then once it pops you'll be able to pull the rotors off if not you're gonna sit there and hammer it all fucking day without being able to get it out, you know what I mean? So, there it is. I was gonna put some grease on, on here, but I'm not gonna do that because there's no grease on there. I don't see no grease, so I'm not gonna do that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna stay with what it is. I have a hub-centric wheel, so I don't think, I think that will solve that problem with it getting stuck all the time. But you still need to use this 
bolt then to take this out. So we're good there. We're gonna put the new rotors on there. Uh, it's a cheap rotor. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and pop it up. Looks like it's about to rain soon. Gonna try and get this done quick. So the new rotor compared to this old one. I don't know, it looks the same. You know, just, just look newer. This looks older. Swap this out, do it quick, we're done. We're one side, we'll do the other side the next day and we'll finish up this video. So, uh, rotors are done. I gotta clean the wheels now to see if I'm gonna get a lot of brake dust now. That would tell me if the pads that I got was good or not. Uh, scuff the, the, what do you call it, the caliper a little bit, one, two, three. These come out real easy, you know. You can literally tap it and it would just peel off because the powder coat they use is not the best. That's what I'm guessing. But thing looks great. Car uh, has been stopping great. Not a lot of brake noise anymore. So that's it. Car is really dirty. You guys can see that in the paint. We're gonna go get the car washed today and see, and then go from there. Hopefully the rotors and the, what do you call it, does not get dirty as much as you used it. But I have a problem with. Uh, power steering pump i replaced the power steering pump so that, that should be in the next upload i'm glad you guys are here to watch this subaru growing and stuff like that so let's get right into it and keep watching videos make sure you like you subscribe and share more upgrades coming up for this car i think i'm actually going to do upgrades to this car instead of just leaving as it is and keeping it as stock as possible it's a beautiful car you know what i mean wingless sdi it's really weird so let's keep going and let's keep going to channel boys